Okay, so here's the plan. I had an idea. We're going to do this. I um, I want to talk about units. I think units are important to talk about, but people mostly just talk about like comps and synergies and stuff. But I wanted to, the thing is units are cool and I, I wanted to interact with them in like a different way. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about Zyra for episode one because Zyra is cool. And I'm going to try to draw her, I think, during it. I'm a really terrible artist. Um, I'm not sure if, like, every time we do this, we're going to be drawing. Probably not. I don't think so. Uh, maybe we'll play, like, a game that involves them or, like, make, hum a, make a rap. Maybe write, like, a haiku about them. I don't fucking know. Who knows? Uh, basically, I'm just going to talk about Zyra. It makes her work in set 11. Uh, and I'm going to try to draw her at the same time. So here we go. Okay, ready. Uh, this is gonna be tough to do at the same time. Holy shit. So I guess the first thing I want to talk about is what actually makes a unit good. I'm gonna draw the plants first. What, what makes a unit like, what, what is valuable for a unit in TFT? Um, so, okay, this is a good base. So I think what makes a unit pretty valuable in general is a mix of a few things. We're talking about all of them. The first one is definitely, oh, this is like a little funky, huh? Uh, it's definitely like like how they fit. And this is something that people talk about a lot, and generally is what you see on YouTube and stuff. I feel like is uh, what kind of comps they fit in and what their synergies are, right? So Zyra is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna probably edit in like stuff over this too, so I think it won't be like super bare bones. But um, anyways, uh, Zyra is Storyweaver Sage. So actually, I think they're I think they're pink up here. So the thing with Storyweaver is it's it's like a very good trait, particularly like early mid game. Uh, obviously, you know, like like Kale's been through a couple different changes already. Red was really good now, and then like agree like it was red or green for a while, and green got nerfed, and now it's like probably mostly. I guess you still go red. You can go green, but you probably don't. Um, but overall, it's just like like a trait with like really easy to hit stuff and and good quality units. So well, that looks good. Damn. Um, and so basically, at least as far as like stage two goes, Story River is one of the best openers in the game, in my opinion. Even now, this is, I'm recording this on, uh, was it 13.8? I want to say 13.9B 13, 13 or something like that. Uh, it, it's the one where it's like four cost city and Lissandra is really broken, which who knows how that'll age. But, um, that is say in the current meta right now, like, like Story River is still good. It gets you into a lot of decent level eight boards. The game is all about getting lovely right now. So it gets you into like, uh, gets you into Kaisa stuff, which is still fine. Um, I mean, you can build AD items on a Sivir and get into Ash stuff, right? Which is, I think, one of the more popular lines right now. Uh, you can also... I guess you can play AP out of it. Like, like there used to be some reroll lines last patch that aren't played really anymore, which is, like, the Soraka stuff and the Zyra... Oh, I'll talk about Zyra reroll stuff in a second, I guess. But um, there, were, there were some, like, comps you can play on 7. The game is less about level 7 right now, but if it becomes a level 7 again, like if level 7 becomes good again, um, like like level 6, level 7, then Story Weaver gets even better because, again, there's a lot of really high-quality units that fit easily. Like Riven plus Soraka fit really well naturally with Zyra's Story Weaver stuff, and like you get Altruist and unit quality, and it's just it's pretty good. It's honestly pretty decent. Um, so that is to say that her first trait, Story Weaver, is very good. Uh, it also can be played long-term, right? Like you can play 7 Story Weaver, um, it's not bad at all. Like, you have blue, blue. You have, like, like anything plus blue, blue, and then she blows stuff up, the Kale. Uh, Zyra doesn't do a lot in that comp, but she's one of the pieces, right? Like, she's two stage with Wukong, which is where you normally cap out. Uh, and it's pretty decent. It, like, it's totally fine. Anything in that board that, like, can get more AP on Kale, which Sage does, is pretty good. Um, and then Sage, you know, we can talk about Sage, I guess, for a second, too. It's, like, a pretty generic synergy. It's not, like, I think she's got red feet. I'm gonna give her green feet, though. I like green feet. I'm gonna give her plant feet, even. I don't even know what her feet look like, but... She's gonna be like a like a squid. I'm gonna make her like like Squidward. Um, she have, she has two feet though. I'm gonna give her two big feet. Um, but pretty much like Sage is just a good two piece. I, I think it can be kind of hard to go vertical Sage because besides Wukong, I feel like the unit quality is not great. Like Morgana is obviously pretty bad. And then uh, I'm gonna paint her toenails as well actually. Uh, and then um, oh shit, this one doesn't even have toes. Damn. And and then like like Diana is okay. Morgana's terrible, Wukong's really good, and, like, Zyra's in a good synergy, so, you know, that's great. Um, but, you know, her traits aren't bad. Uh, her traits aren't bad, but I think that this is the thing that, like, the next thing is, is the thing that people don't really talk about with units, which I think is really important, is the actual quality of the unit. 
So the start of the set, Zyra was a little bit mid. Um, she didn't do like bad damage, she didn't do good damage. Uh, there was like a reroll thing that I played a lot on the first patch of the set. I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna pretend it's one big toe. Um, there's a lot of uh, reroll stuff that I played with it at the start of the set. All that like Soraka stuff, like Janna, Qualm could play it too. And I think it was pretty good. But currently in the state of the game, like currency of the game, you don't reroll a ton. Um, and so basically as far as unit quality goes, she's, she was not great, but it was playable before she got buffed. So now she's a little bit better as a unit, but like the comps you play her in are, are less meta. Um, but in general, she's like, she's actually a pretty good unit, dude. She pumps. Like, she does so much damage. You have the right items. We'll talk about the items in a second, but she can do pretty good damage. So unit quality wise, she's, she's like pretty good. Um, she, she does a lot of damage. I think the big thing that's important item wise for her, we'll talk about items right now because we might as well. Um, the big thing item wise is that she really needs mana gen. And so her mana ends in a five at 75 divisible by 15, 15 times five is 75. Wouldn't you know quick math? And so it's pretty important uh, when you play her that you do have something like a Shoujin. I think like a, like a blue off is not good enough. A trap or a cute cone, um, chalice of power or is chalice of power. I think that's what it's called. Is it called chalice of power these days? I feel like it's not. The, the tier cloak item um it is like pretty bad on her i'm pretty sure you need shojin pretty much but if you go like shojin plus like some raw ip plus like nashers or trap claw sorry not trap claw guard breaker i can still call it trap claw i'm, I'm dumb um just like some damage right it, like, like damage slash attack slash whatever it's basically like shojin plus rabadons plus one you can go like she can go really really far you can even do like like shojin plus jg plus plus guard breaker or something as long as the items make sense it's like shojin plus two damage i think you really don't want gunblade on her i will say um i think gunblade on her is not great because she doesn't like she, she kind of needs the damage and like you have sage for your front line so your front line's not really dying there's not like a ton of stuff hitting back line right now because like it's mostly ash and stuff um i'm gonna give her some pants i'm gonna give her jeans she's wearing jeans I'm gonna give her jorts actually. She doesn't wear jorts probably. Can I, I can probably just like fill in, but I'm just gonna color it. Um, not not so. She, yeah, I, I wouldn't say like as far as um, item wise, like she's kind of strict with items, right? Like you do need that shojin. If you have shojin, like you're you're gonna be in in dire straits. But if you do have that, like if you get good items for her, she's still like an insanely good unit. You can even still reroll her on a patch that like ostensibly reroll is relatively dead on. Uh, besides stuff like Gnar, right? Um, I did play a Riven Rule game today. That's a different, we'll talk about that in a Riven episode, I guess. But um, that is to say, basically, that Zyra's good. I think Zyra's very good. Uh, she has a, a good niche. She's a strong unit. She has a lot of cool aspects in terms of like being able to be rerolled. Potentially, again, if the meta shifts more towards reroll, she's going to be very good, I think. Because she does a ton of damage right now, and with the right item, she just is stable for a long time. I think like in a meta where you roll on three two, she's really good. Uh, currently, you don't roll on three two a lot because it's like the level eight, like fast eight lottery stuff. But um, in general, like, like she's just a great unit. I, I think people un like underplay her a lot. Like if you can, you can like often like roll on three, even now probably you can like roll on three two uh, as long as you have items for her and just like find Zyra two and some decent units. Even if you're zero gold, you probably never go eighth because you just are stable for a while. Um, so yeah, as far as items go, it's like Shoujin, TLDR of the items, it's like, it's like Shoujin plus damage plus damage, whatever that looks like, again, Rabadons, Nashers, whatever. Um, and then I think the, the most interesting thing about Zyra is probably is actually the comps that you can play with her. So Zyra is a very, very, like the, this whole like story weaver, altruist, heavenly, arcanist, like all, all those things that get like, like that interact are, um, are really cool all those like weird interactions in like the two and three cost stuff with like again like zyra and zoe and nico and and riven and and soraka and stuff and so there's a billion ways to play her um you can play her with like nico and soraka with like three story weaver and maybe it's like a riven plus like maybe you hit a galio early right uh you can play her with like five story weaver maybe you have like a zoe and a, and a garen in there because you just have garen two from early game to stabilize your mid game um, I think one of my favorite variation, the variation that I rerolled a lot, was I'd play too ghostly with it, and I would play um, a Lowie. I'll probably just like edit in what the full comps look like. I'll just like put in, uh, I'll just like put in all the units that would be in a, on these boards. But then you know, it was like a version was like a Lowie, um, it was like a Lowie with, with Aatrox, and then you'd have like three Story Weaver, and then you'd have like 
Soraka plus Nico, and it would give you like two. You could play like Garen Riven, so you'd play two Warden, two Altruist, two Bruiser, two Ghostly. Um, and then like you could worry about Sage later. Sage is like again not a super necessary trait. It's like not a lot of AP. It's less AP than I think it's the same amount of AP as Arcanist. I think it's 20. Um, so it's not like super amazing. And so unless you have a Wukong, you probably don't play it. But if you have Wukong, it's like super good, right? Uh, I'm gonna give her like red spiky hair because I think she has red spiky hair. Why did she give her jorts again? I don't think she. I mean, she definitely. I know she doesn't have jorts. I'm gonna give her red lips. Okay. Uh, so comp wise, like she's she's very flexible. She's very very flexible. Again, like for her reroll stuff, like there's a billion ways to reroll her. You can do the Janna boards as well, like the Janna Diana stuff. But I think the problem with her right now is that in a meta where she can't be rerolled, she has a much harder time being played. And this this is gonna change. The meta is gonna change, obviously, but this should still be applicable regardless of how the meta changes. But she can't really be played easily while she is not rerollable. The reason being like in a meta where like this where you can't roll super hard on 3-2, maybe you can like get a like avoid a hard eighth or something by doing it, but uh you know if you can't have that reroll out as an option after rolling really deep on 3-2, you're probably not going to be able to play her very consistent like very well. It probably doesn't work out. Um I should probably give her some some chest. Okay. Uh I think she has like like red stuff around. Yeah I'm just gonna Perfect. Okay. Um, so basically, she's going to struggle in metas like like the current meta, but any meta where like reroll is viable and like rolling on 3 2 is good in particular, she is going to be a really good unit. Like tempo wise, she is great. She is so, so good at stabilizing your board on 3 2 again with items. I think the item thing is really important because it's night and day if you have the Shojin. And if you don't have the Shojin, you also really want stuff like I'd say like whenever you're playing around Zyra, the most important things besides the actual. I think she doesn't have a hand here, by the way. I should give her a hand. Uh, besides the actual Zyra is uh like shiv on on something like a soraka or a zoe uh, tank items on like your alawi or your galio or whatever basically you just she can just put up pump damage as long as you have like a nice mid-range board in terms of you know, it doesn't need to be a slow fight doesn't need to be a fast fight you just need decent tank items and good zyra items and then you're kind of off to the races and it's pretty decent i'm gonna draw the projectiles that are coming out um as far as two costs go, I think she's one of the better ones for sure. If you have an early Zyra, I think it's worth playing around. Again, she's one of those things where, like, if you have the right items, it's you should definitely play around it. But if you don't have the right items, it's probably not super great to play around it. Uh, so don't try to like hard force Zyra. I would say because you're you're liable to just get, you know, wrecked, <laughs> for lack of a better word. But she's something that you should keep your eye out on. Uh, you keep your eye on rather when you have stuff like a Shojin on bench and you know you uh, you are having like a rough early game and need to stabilize on stage three. Um, one of the cooler two costs for sure, I would say. And again, her traits are great. I guess the TLDR be like her traits are great. She is pretty item specific, so you know again be careful trying to play her, play around her without that Shojin because it is night and day in my opinion. Uh, and then just build AP after that, and she pumps the units you can play with her are like so there's so many of them that it's really hard to like super low roll unit stuff. And she just makes like for a really great stabilization point. I'd say again, right now, current meta, uh, as of this video releasing, probably don't reroll her. I'm gonna, these are like like the wind things. I don't think that's, oh, oh God, that doesn't look great. But I'm, I'm okay, this one, I'll just do like one long one. Um, I don't think it's snake now. Wow, I'm gonna draw some red on this too. But basically, uh, don't play, don't try to reroll right now, but like definitely play her mid game, transition into stuff like Lilia Ash, maybe transition into stuff like, uh, I don't know, whatever uses a Shojin, man. If you hit a Lissandra one, you're off for the races with a Shojin, right? Uh, Kaisa can use Shojin and like the story of her stuff pivots very naturally into it. So you can definitely do that. Um, yeah, I'd say that that's probably my thoughts on Zyron. Beautiful picture. All right. Well, catch you next time. Bye bye. I think I'll do more of these. Probably. We'll see how it goes. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening.